Billy Idol, Dancing With Myself, uh, also featuring uh, Generation X, his previous band. Um, this is a pretty cool song because it's got this uh, really recognizable riff to it. And then it just gets into some straight up like punk strumming and uh, a little uh, interlude section that's pretty rad too. So I uh, started off here, uh, it's just going to be a key of E. Okay. And we're going to do this. Uh, this really high riff. Um, in the intro, it happens four times, but then uh, it kind of plays in through the first verse and it switches up a little bit during that first verse. So we'll, we'll get to that too. But uh, right off the bat, just getting the, the uh, basics of it, um, you're going to want to be here at the fifth fret of the B. And uh, the whole time, we're going to be hitting that and an open E. Okay, so we're just getting that same note there, E note. All right, we're just going to uh, quickly hit that about five times. Okay. All right, and then we slide down one to four on the B. Back to five. Seven. Back to five. Okay. hearing it all right and like i said we're just gonna on the intro we're gonna repeat that four times all right and like i said once the uh, first verse kicks in it changes up slightly here um it's gonna start the same way we're just gonna go through it twice But at this point, it just kind of does half of it and repeats like the first half of it. So it, it goes uh, three, about three uh, strums on the five here. And then it goes to four. And then right back to five and does the same thing again. And then once more, but just a slightly quicker version of it. So just maybe two fives. Okay. So it sounds something like. All right. And then it would just throw one more normal uh, version at the end. Okay. So we'll put it all together slowly here. the first chorus kicks in um, it's uh, pretty much just some like punk strumming here so we're just doing like eighth note downstroke strumming okay and it's gonna uh, start with the E chord and we're gonna just do like a, a power chord here at the 7 a 9d 9g and hit the open E with it too just to make it even bigger and uh, just two measures worth of that Okay. And then we move it to an A chord, uh, just power chords, and 5th uh, fret E, 7 and 7 on the A and D, two measures worth. Alright, from there we go to a B, so just bring it up two frets, so you're at the 7 and 9s. And then back to the A. So just down two frets to the five and sevens. And then it would just repeat back to that E. Okay, and by the time we get to the second chorus, uh, we go through the whole progression once. Okay, now at this point, we go to the E, the A, but then back 
back to the E. And now the B. And this leads us into the interlude section here, which is a really cool, fun thing to play here. Um, it's going to be, it kind of just changes everything to B now. And uh, we're going to play it down here, and we're just picking notes like really fast. So uh, starting at the second on the A. Okay. And we're just going to do four quick strums on that. And then we drop down to the second on the D. Four on that. Come over to the four on the D. Four strums. And then end it with four on the G. Uh, four, four strums. See, so. Okay, you can hear that part. All right, and we go through it once. And for the most part, a second time. Okay, but once we get to that second time through, instead of hitting the just four uh, fourth frets on the G string, okay, we're going to actually uh, hit that four and a four on the B, and we're going to, while we strum it four times, slowly bend it and then release it. Okay. All right, and then you just repeat those, uh, both those sections, four times. All right, and the uh, first half of the verse following that interlude. It plays just like the second chorus did, so we're just you know jamming away on it. Uh, you know, just like that, no no big deal. But the second half of that verse, um, it changes up a little bit, and we just kind of go more palm muted. Okay, so all right, and uh, the it, first half of it plays the same, just palm muting. Once we get to this B, we just hit it once and we rest. And then during the rest, just before the uh, uh, second measure's out, we come back to these fours that were in the interlude, remember? And we just bend uh, the four on the G while holding the four on the B. Okay, just give it a kind of wild bend there. All right, and then from there, we get back into it. This would sound something like this all together. All right, and the other uh, alteration that happens is once we get to that last chorus, we play it all the way through one time. After we get through it one time, we do the E, the A, and we get to the B. And once we get to the B, we just stay on that B for a good four measures. Just repeats as normal all the way till the end of the song. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.